Hey, my YouTube friends, it's Professor Walker, and you may or may not have heard about the controversy involving the Army's latest woke recruiting video, but if you haven't seen it, here is some, and it's just as stupid as you thought. This is the story of a soldier who operates your nation's Patriot Missile Defense Systems. It begins in California, with a little girl raised by two moms. Hey, nothing wrong with this, but what's the point of this? And why the hell is this a cartoon? This is stupid. Although I had a fairly typical childhood, took ballet, played violin, I also marched for equality. I like to think I've been defending freedom from an early age. When I was six years old, one of my moms had an accident that left her paralyzed. Doctors said she might never walk again, but she tapped into my family's pride to get back on her feet, eventually standing at the altar to marry my other mom. With such powerful role models, I finished high school at the top of my class and then attended UC Davis, where I joined a sorority full of other strong women. Now, I think we should call a little BS right here. Sororities and fraternities are stupid. But as graduation approached, I began feeling like I'd been handed so much in life, a sorority girl stereotype. Sure, I'd spent my life around inspiring women, but what had I really achieved on my own? One of my sorority sisters was studying abroad in Italy. Another was climbing Mount Everest. I needed my own adventures, my own challenge. And after meeting with an army recruiter, I found it. A way to prove my inner strength and maybe shatter some stereotypes along the way. I'm US Army Corporal Emma Malone Lord and I answered my calling. And now, nothing wrong with this woman. She seems like a lovely person and a person you would want to be serving the country. But again, this ad is dumb and it's not her fault. Now, contrast that with this little ad from the Russian military who is still thinking that the purpose of a military is, as Rush Limbaugh once said, to kill people and break things. It's not for social engineering. It's to kill people and break things and to do that in the most efficient way possible. Это первый день твоей новой жизни. То, что было вчера, не имеет значения. То, кем ты был прежде. Уже никого не волнует. Теперь важно то, кем ты будешь сегодня. Что ты знаешь о себе? На что ты способен? Вопросы могут остаться без ответов, но разве ты сможешь потом спокойно спать? Узнать себя, познать границы своих возможностей. К черту границы. Ты готов ломать себя до изнеможения. Каждый день здесь боль закаляет. Шрамы, повседневность. Это ты решил себе что-то доказать. Командир здесь только для того, чтобы ты мог увидеть в нем врага. Потому что без врага нет боя, а без боя нет победы. Но на самом деле, главный враг — это ты. Вчерашний ты. Твоя задача выследить врага, догнать его, превзойти, стать лучше, чем он, и вернуться назад победителем. Потому что завтра первый день твоей новой жизни. So let me know what you think. Because honestly, I think that that Russian ad is far more effective in appealing to the type of people that want to join the military. It's reminiscent to me as a former Marine of a Marine Corps ad. Searching for meaning in a relentless world. Always connected, but somehow alone. Trapped by illusion. We are 
offer another path where the battle to belong begins. Awakened by a calling. United by purpose. Defined by the cause you fight for. It is not about you! Work together to get over the up. No one can ever take away you are in this room. what it means to be among the few, the proud, the Marines. Now that is a badass recruiting ad. It's reaching its target audience, mostly male, it is showing that you can change your life, be something, you're fighting for your country, and you're going to make something out of yourself that you're going to have with you for the rest of your life. Not some stupid woke thing. All right, let me know what you think. Um, Professor Walker, I'm out.